Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Siobhan and I'm a first year medic at KCL and I make YouTube videos about medical school and university. So if you are new here, if you like my video, do consider hitting the subscribe button and yeah, let's get into the video. Now sorry, my room is a complete mess. Uh, and as you would have seen, I haven't made a video in a while. That's because I've just been so involved in exams and then all the stuff that happens after exams with the relief, the freedom. Uh, but anyway, we're getting back on track now and you'll see some more videos coming to you. So today's video, like I said, exams ended. And today I got my exam results and everything went off well. So that is the end of the first year of medicine at Kings for me and so that's what I'll be talking about today the first year of medicine at KCL so overall it was a great experience positive experience and yeah I had a great year uh, it's been quite uh, rough as well because obviously seeing what all has happened in the past year but other than that I think it medicine at KCL itself went off pretty well this year so let's talk about it let's talk about everything in it and if you have any questions at the end you can ask me those questions wherever you want in the comment section on instagram you can send me an email whatever you want and yeah let's get into it so let me start by saying the first year of medicine is not exactly what you would expect going in as a medical student it's not as clinical it's more classroom based than like hospital or clinical setting based so it actually kind of feels like you're studying a science degree rather than studying medicine in the first year because basically what the first year is used for is setting a base for your clinical practice for uh, it's basically used for uh, giving you structure teaching you the core concepts giving you the scientific knowledge required for medicine teaching you new things like anatomy and physiology and all pharmacology whatever you would not have learned in school and basically after that you are thrown into the clinical um, aspect of things from the next year onwards so the first year is basically a lot of lectures tutorials workshops um, things like that and obviously you have different ways of learning anatomy things like that in your first year so uh, in our first year we had four modules we had foundations of medical science physiology and anatomy of systems uh, gene genes behavior and environment and we had introduction to values based clinical practice the first three were exam based and like I said they had a lot of science and uh, basically uh, like I said medical science in them and then the last one was basically the art slash humanities aspect of medicine along with clinical skills and things like that this one was more coursework based or uh, like essay uh, it involved things like essays presentations stuff like that basically I think this structure was very useful it was a great way of learning and uh, it also gave us a good balance because we got some simulated scenarios this year in our introduction to values based clinical practice module um, where we were basically practicing talking to simulated patients so we were alongside learning all this science we were developing those communication skills and other skills we required next year when we actually go into clinical scenario mostly happen online this year as you would expect as most uni students this year I would say most of their classes happen online but um, we had some in-person teaching some in-person opportunities so basically we had some open learning opportunities for dissection or not dissection for anatomy where you could go look at cadavers and basically examine cadavers and there were basically demonstrators there to help us understand what we were looking at so that was a really useful thing when starting anatomy and then we had a day of in-person teaching as well in which we learned about clinical skills and 
other than clinical skills, we also had a session on basic life support. The teaching was great this year. All the teachers are very, very helpful and their teaching is very clear and uh, it gives good structure. And also you have your personal tutors who provide you with support throughout the year, academic support and personal support. So overall, you're very well aided in that way. Um, other than the academic aspects of medicine, the social aspects in medical school are also very important. I remember asking a medical student before applying, before even getting my offers for medical school, what is the one thing you think is the most important in determining success for medical students in medical school? And basically, what they told me was the most important thing in their eyes was whether a medical student surrounds themselves with people and whether they build a network. That's a very important determining factor. And basically those who isolate themselves tend to not do as well in medical school as those who surround themselves with other medical students. I definitely kept that in mind throughout this year. The, obviously the year being how it has been has made it very difficult to, uh, meet people because most people were remotely hidden away in their homes or in their rooms during periods of lockdown and COVID restrictions and things like that. But I think despite that, I got a chance to interact with many, many medical students this year and I've made quite a few connections, I think, and I've made some good friends as well. And I think that helped me throughout the year and I think that will continue to help me in the next few years of medical school as well. And it's something I definitely encourage you to do if you're starting medicine next year, whether it's at King's or at any other uni. And then lastly, um, the societies at King's, as a medical student, you have many opportunities to join societies that are related to medicine and societies that are not related to medicine as well. i be very honest this year, I didn't take the opportunity to join any societies or anything, probably because it just seemed like such a drag to participate in more online events after our course itself was being delivered online. But Next year, I'm definitely looking forward to joining many societies, um, some medical societies and some other societies as well. Uh, it'll be a great place to meet people and I'm sure it's a great place to develop yourself outside of medicine as well. Um, some things I learned from the first year of medical school would probably be to be consistent, definitely be consistent. It's a very easy to lose your consistency and your pace in medical school and then you're basically left with a very tense period of catching up. Don't be afraid as a medical student starting medical school if you don't know the best way for you to learn in medical school because there are different learning methods as you'll see from my video on how I study in medical school but um, there's no one way that's right for everyone and it's not easy to figure out what the most efficient way of studying is for you and you figure, figure that out along the way and basically the way the first day of medical school is structured it, it is to help you through it's not to make it a challenge for you but it's basically to aid you so that you can meet your goal of learning everything you have to learn and getting through to the next year. So yeah, I think that covers everything about the first year in medical school at King's and it was a really great year for me and I'm basically looking forward to the next year, to the next stage, stage two of medical school. I'm looking forward to hospital placements, GP placements, but yeah, that's pretty much it and I think that covers everything. If you have any questions, drop a comment, send me an email, send me a DM whatever you, you feel comfortable with doing and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like and do hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video.